Hello and welcome, my name's Stye and we're about to take a little look at Legend of Dungeon. Now what the hell is this? Well, this is a... But get ready for this, this is a four player co-op roguelike beat em up. Now it's obviously just going to be single player at the moment, but you can have four player co-op. Uh, it's a roguelike beat em up. So this means it's got combat like... Uh, Streets of Rage. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was awesome. I think I played that on my Mega Drive actually. Uh, but anyway, um, so games like that, that's the combat. Um, but obviously being roguelike, you die, you do not come back, you are dead. So we have got permadeath, we've got dynamic lighting apparently, and real-time shadows on pixel art. Now this could possibly be the first time that's ever been done. I can't remember that, but it's definitely not the first time pixel art has been done because every goddamn indie game does that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, whatever, we can let that go. Uh, it's got randomised content, dynamic music, an online scoreboard, and it's DRM free because nobody likes DRM, well, which is fine. So. That's all. I, actually, what I've done, I guess I can kind of... In fact, I'll show you this. So, uh, I don't have a controller, so I obviously have to set my keys up. So, press the use item and attack button, Z. Jump button, spacebar. Next item button, X. Previous item, C. Drop item, V. I think I would just press spacebar by accident. <laughs> Hang on, let me just... Uh, let's go back. Good lord. What a collapse. Yeah, well... Okay, so let's do this again, because I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. So, Z for attack, uh, spacebar for jump, X for next item, C for previous item, V for drop, or paro for up, down, left, and right. Okay. And we can also change the name as well, so, I guess. Uh, Stylosa. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on, has that even changed it? Yeah, okay, awesome. Awesome. So, uh, let's get into the game. I uh, don't need my mouse pointer, so we'll get that off the screen. Thank you. Hold down to enter the tavern. Oh, oh, hello. So, Z to attack. X to change item. I'm guessing the lantern is going to play a big part in this. Uh, especially if areas are dark. Let's see for previous, okay. Uh... Uh, are these the toilets? Female, male? I can't obviously go in the ladies' toilet. Hello. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, okay. So this is changing my character. Right. Let's, uh... Okay, well, let's roll as a, as a, as a blow. Ah! Right, so I've just collected stuff for the... T beer. Yeah. Oh god, what's going on? Ha! <laughs> I think I'm intoxicated, good lord. And apparently I've took, I've took one damage of, of life. So my, my hands are not even on the keyboard here. I'm just going all over the place. Uh, slightly tipsy. So, let's do that again. <laughs> so if this game is to be believed, every time I drink a pint, I actually die 1%. I would be dead. I would be dead long ago if that was the actual case. Uh, it's not though, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right, well, I guess I nick all of the stuff in here. Apples... I'm guessing they're going to give me health. In fact, well, well let's just find out. So, uh, X, Apple. Yeah. I don't know how much that's actually give me, but... Yeah. Who, who are these guys? Oh, okay. So, this is like the uh, the guys who've made the game. So, that's the character design. This is... Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened then? I don't know who that is. The Sultan of Coffee. He's gone. Ah, music. Who's the little man? He, the little dwarf guy doesn't want to know in the chef. Well, God knows. Anyway, let's uh, let's get stuck in. I probably should have my sword. <laughs> probably be a good idea. Level one. All right. No. Yeah. Come on, you snake bastard. Love it. Oh, God. Snake in a crate. That's not a present you want to get. <laughs> Uh, or, you know what, let's go back through that door. And let's go through this one first. Oh, shit. You know what, this... There was a game I used to play when I was a kid uh, on the... I think it was on the Mega Drive. Might have actually been on the, the Master System. I cannot remember what it was, though. Hmm. A Nimble School Mask of Protection. Good lord, let's put that on. 
beer, shitloads of beer, lantern, a snake is coming for me. Uh, no, I don't want to remove that. I don't understand. Ah, oh, potion. We don't know what that does, though. Uh, take a few apples, get my health back up. I can't. No, I don't want the beer. Let's chuck the beer away. <laughs> I'm going to end up drinking that. Oh, shit. No, I need my sword. Uh, oh, shit. No, please, please. Yeah, die. Yeah. No, anyway, where's my other beer? As much as it pain. Oh, for God's sake, I'm throwing it away. As much as it pains me. Um, you know what? We're going to drink the beer. We're not going to throw it away. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Come on, man. Get your wits together. <laughs> what is that about? Am I leveling up? Is that what that is? I don't know. I have no idea. Apples away! I suppose I should, uh... Let's neck the potion. Ah, oh, it's kind of made me sick. That's vile. <laughs> but that's what you get when you just randomly drink potions in a random dungeon. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's go back this way. And, uh, I guess we go through this way. Hello? Ah! Yeah, give me the gold. Give me the gold! I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that I can actually spend the gold at a shop. Or some kind of uh, establishment. A load of random potions. <laughs> well, it looks like this is a dead end. So I think what I'll do is I'll net one of these potions just to see what happens. Ah, it's made me violently sick. Maybe I'm not supposed to be necking these potions. <laughs> I, I'm project projectile vomiting away. Mm, let's go down. Oh, there's a little goblin fella. Little goblin fella. Hello there, little fella. <laughs> Nobody can beat me with my crazy skull mask. Ugh. Good lord, is that a top hat? Good lord. Goblin bastard. Come here. I don't think he's actually damaging me. He's just laughing at me. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah. No, no I've got to put that uh, <laughs> top hat on. As an English gentleman, it, it must it must be done. Ah, previous. No, 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 no. Yes, the top hat of protection. <laughs> I say, I say. Good lord, good actual lord. I'm the fire dead day. No, I'm, I'm not doing that goddamn British accent again. The, the Sergeant Major accent. From anybody who watched the uh, World of Tanks videos, no, because it will destroy my throat and I will not be able to talk and that will be bad. Or, or maybe good. <laughs> Come here, you little fuck. Jesus Christ. Come back. Come back. Come. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, uh, let's go through this door. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Skelly Boy. Skelly Boy. Oh. Oh. Well, he didn't really last that long. You, you know, I kind of expected to be using my lantern a bit more than I have had to. In fact, I don't think I've even had to use it. Um, everywhere seems a bit a bit bright. I'm guessing it's going to get darker later on. Oh, I think I've been this way. What? That's a crazy hand. Oh shit, it's on my face? What the Christ? Get off! Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go down because this is probably gonna take me to the next level, I think. Yeah, level three. Okay. I think that, that must be some sort of like level up animation, although I don't know. 
Oh, for God's sake, man. Ooh, mummy, mummy, mummy. Yeah. Right, let's uh, eat a shitload of apples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drink. Ooh, what did that just do? I do not know. No, I don't want to remove the top hat of protection. Good God, man. Uh, I've drank a potion that's made me fall asleep. Oh, dear. <laughs> Nothing like a quick nap. What? Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, he actually did quite a bit of damage to me. Oh, God. No, these don't... I don't think they damage me. Uh, I don't think they do. Another crazy random potion. Let's, uh, let's neck it. Yeah! <laughs> ah, okay. So, I've got my... Wish answered. It is now massively dark. Oh. Okay, so let's swap out the sword. Let's go through. The... Mummy boy. Level four. God, not a crazy hand. No, not a crazy hand. No. Oh, fuck. Ah, I can attack through the crazy hand. Oh, shit. I'm nearly dead. Holy shit. Oh, my God. That's not really helped me that much. Shit. Oh, crap. I think I've, uh, I might have come down a few two levels. Like, I, maybe I should have fully explored the earlier levels. No, no, shit. I knew it. <laughs> okay, so I've died. So, so well, that looks painful. Uh, I was killed by a zombie on level four with 18 gold. Uh, okay, so maybe gold's actually the, the score. That's bad, so I've died. So this illustrates the roguelike aspect of the game. So I'm dead. So now I can only really play. Okay, so it, it kind of starts again. So I think I'll wrap that up because that kind of... Give you a, a, a good impression of what you're actually going to get from this game. I think if I press escape, yeah, uh, alpha. So you, you can see this is this isn't the release version of the game. They actually, well, Robot Loves Kitty, the guys who've actually produced the game, they very kindly gave me a copy of the game to take a look at. So this is not entirely finished, although it's probably very close to the finished product. Now they are actually trying to get this on Steam, so I'm going to put a link below for the Steam Greenlight page. So by all means, check that out. I kind of have enjoyed that, though, to be honest. That uh, it, it, it looks like a kind of weird mix of the roguelike co-op beat-em-up thing, but it, no, I think it would work quite well. Uh, obviously, it's a lot of going around random dungeons to get loot and equipment and stuff like that. Addictive gameplay. So there you go, guys. I've been Stylo. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. I cannot stress this enough. I tweet about gaming news, about everything, about the channel, about YouTube and all that stuff. And that is at Unit Lost Gaming. So make sure you follow me. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Toodaloo.